What's up guys? So I got the map um, clutch master cylinder replacement upgrade kit for the Evo 10. So I kind of got a little unboxing. I already started on the Evo. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. This is the clip in. Uh, matches kind of like with the OEM style. So they give you the braided line. Nice the little banjo bolts, all that good stuff. Foam packing and then the actual replacement well upgraded master cylinder from map and their little plate and as you can see it's the clip in style so yeah so basically i will be using a brake bleeder power bleeder i got to do this on my own today so yeah gonna be great um i've already removed some stuff as you can tell uh, i'm gonna be taking off the strut tower bar i already took the intake off and it's over here um so yeah that's out of the car i'm running canon typhoon yeah i know not ets but whatever so goal today is to basically get all this out of the way uh strut tower bar out of the way got to remove the brake booster um basically clutch master cylinder the old one the whole reservoir all that um so yeah um let's get to it all right so we'll go over this real quick <clears throat> part of the instructions say from map you will need to basically move your ecu out of the way all this so at this point in time what you before you do this go to the back remove the negative first remove your positive then you come over here you undo this bolt after you remove this cover pull all this off lay it off to the side Pull the two bolts out that basically go right there. And this one, mine's this style, but it holds this bracket. Just remove that one off. Um, undo these. Best way to do those, just take a really thin screwdriver, place it in there, and these will unclip like so. And then you can just clip them back in and they stay and they still work. So again, get them out, press that in, pull that up. Or you could pull on it. There's a little, basically they lock in because of this little tab. See that? That's what locks them. So you can pull it and do it that way. It's easier with a screwdriver. Yeah. Then snake all this out. Remember where it goes. This I left on. You just kind of pull that little tab out and you can pull it right off of this this little stay um, these I just pull them out they come right out uh, same with the one that goes right here which is it's on this but yeah so you pull all this out lay all this out of the way and you need to get to that bolt down there Let's see if I can focus bolt down there it is a 12 mil you see yeah so 12 mil excuse the extensions um you're gonna need to remove that one and then this one right there holding this whole bracket on and you're gonna remove that whole bracket all right all right so next step after you get all that out of the way um you have to get this retainer clip off your clutch line so this clip it sits in here like that so it basically, you know, presses up against this little thing, holds this in place. Your best option, hit the corner down. It'll rotate it out and it'll leave a little tiny gap. You can see where the gouge marks are. Um, so this, if we could get it back in right now, sits in like that. This goes like this. So when you hit it down, it's going to create a gap in between here and the bottom of this. And then you can stick a screwdriver in there and just pry it up and it'll come out. And then you just slide this up. Oh, come on. Kind of hard to do one handed, but like that comes out. Next, we're going to tackle these two um, lines on the actual um, brake booster. Uh, for the brake reservoir all that um, so we're gonna pop those two off stuff some rags down there I already took this line 
kind of off. I just got to pop that off. That's your vacuum for, or that's for your uh, feed for your clutch master cylinder. And then we're going to take the back line off of the brake booster. This one right here. So we're going to move that out of the way, pull that off. And then remove those 10 mil nuts, that one and that one, and slide this bad boy out. And uh, yeah, so let's do it. All right, got the clutch master out. Uh, basically you twist it clockwise. Um, this is the other end of the clutch master. You gotta take the little clip off. I pulled it off after I pulled the clutch master. So here's mine. Um, mine actually was leaking out of the seal, so normally they break. Um, I think I caught mine actually at the perfect time. I still had a little bit of life left, but I was leaking in the, basically in my foot well on my driver's side, so I decided to pull it off. The one thing I never saw was how to get this off. Um, and honestly, I know why now, but it's helpful. So this basically, you just pop off of the clutch foot pedal. Um, it comes right off. I just took a screwdriver right into that little slot right there and just popped it and came right off. And then I went in the engine bay and uh, turned that clockwise, pulled it out. So here's the new one. As you can see, it has a similar style your OEM except for it's a lot better um, no more plastic all metal Evo 8 Evo 9 clutch master cylinder so um, yeah ready to go um, definitely time to put it back in and then of course they come with a kind of a cotter pin setup goes in there locks it in place um, there is also one other thing that I noticed they did not really talk about, and that was, let me get a light. Getting access to that. I pulled, they told you to pull that. So yeah, I pulled that module. So I got to put that back in also so on to that i will be removing this line completely um it goes right there runs around as a hard line to there comes down and then to your slave which is right there so i'll be removing my box um pretty simple easy to get to not hard so yeah all right so i got the map unit in that's how it sits. That adjustment bolt, I gotta screw this in till it hits the firewall and that's your locking bolt. Basically it twists in, um, point this basically up and match up the little, there's a little slots and then you twist it counterclockwise to lock it in. Um, yeah, so. I just got to lock it in on the inside. This is kind of what you're looking at. It's got little cotter pins that go in so that you can't go past that point. Kind of how mine sits in there right now. Um, you'll see the cotter pins, they're stops. So it'll not let you tighten it anymore. Um, but yeah, so that adjustment bar, I got to unscrew it so I can actually get i don't think you can see it yeah see the ball just got to make that line up clip it in get that good to go put my line in and uh yeah but the rest is back together honestly one of the things i don't like about the map version is ams they give you little rubber grommets and everything slides right into these original holders um i'm gonna put something on this line um i do like how it routes the same as oem tucks back there you get plenty of room 
Well, to me, it's plenty of room in between the uh, brake booster and that banjo bolt. Um, luckily, you have this here, so you can kind of lay it up against there. I didn't want it closer to the brake booster. I wanted something that it, it could rub against that wasn't going to wear through the braid. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely going to do something with that. Something with that. Um, I'll figure it out. But overall, I like the fitment of the map one. But yeah, not bad. So I wanted to follow up after two days of driving on it after the install um, and kind of go over a couple things that I left out of the video that after I watched it, I realized that it had some missing bits and pieces. Um, and I want to kind of make this how-to as complete as possible. So let's get into it. Um, overall, the fuel is awesome. Uh, it's nothing drastically different at all. Like, uh, it really doesn't feel any different. Uh, it's just having the peace of mind knowing you don't have a plastic piece in there and now it's, you know, metal. Um, I went over a lot earlier on in this video, but main key points I wanted to point out was that it's super easy to install I guess let me rephrase that it's simple to install but it's time consuming um, honestly if you know your way around tools and you're a good mechanic all around you can get it done in six and a half to seven hours it took me eight and that's just because I was trying to film stuff by myself and kind of get as much as I could. Plus I went and got food, took a little break for that. But overall, um, yeah, the install is pretty straightforward. Maps instructions are pretty clear on how to do things. There was a couple things I didn't like that they had in there that they could have elaborated on a little bit more. Uh, for instance, uh, the point where I pointed out how to remove the um, clutch master off the pedal assembly. I know it's very easy to do after you actually do it, uh, just because it just unclips, but at the time, I didn't really want to break anything, and then I kind of thought about it, and I was like, it doesn't really matter, it's coming out anyway, so yeah. Once finding that out, it made a lot of sense. Um, the other thing was the clip on the um, the ball fitting that's on the clutch master cylinder that little c-clip that goes in there is a pain to get in it I literally had to have my feet up onto the headrest and my body down the seat and all up underneath there had to remove that module out of the way so I could get my hand back there and then you have to twist your hand up and on top to get that pin in uh, you'll see what I mean when you do the install. Um, you're gonna have to just rely on feel. You can't see it. You're just gonna have to feel your way in there. And if you're a car guy or gal, like you'll figure it out. It's just one of those things. Um, majority of the tools you're gonna need is just a screwdriver, a 10 mil, a 12. Um, you're gonna need a wrench, a line wrench, a 12 millimeter line wrench for the brake lines uh, like I said earlier with bending the brake lines you're gonna have to bend them a little bit to get the brake booster out of the way um, just take your time don't kink the lines and you'll be fine uh, I also went over the whole taking those two 10 mil nuts off of the brake booster to pull your reservoir for the brakes off in that whole unit you don't have to do that I ended up not removing those nuts I left that whole thing together as one piece and I just went underneath undid the four bolts for the brake booster that's in the driver's side footwell and took the little cotter pin out of the pin and took the pin out of the actual uh, brake pedal and then just pulled it all out as one unit. Um, 
the lines were kind of in the way. I tried my best not to, you know, bend them, but in the end, you just have to. Um, just be careful. Um, what else was there that I noticed? I did not like on the braided line that map gives you how they didn't have the grommets like AMS does. AMS did a great job on that from the looks of it, how they actually incorporated those in the lines and put them in the right location so you can just clip it into the OEM clutch line mounts and have it do basically a factory location for that. I came up with my own solution. I have stuff laying around normally in the garage that I can just come up with real quick for instances like that. So honestly, if you go get some grommets that'll fit in the little location and can fit over the braided line, that's like your best bet. Um, so other than that, the kit was well put together. I like it. Uh, the fact that you just do the clip in, you tighten down that locking screw and away you go with no drilling or any of that grinding that you have to do with the other kits. It's so nice that way and definitely helps out on the install. Um, I did mention cotter pins in the actual clutch master cylinder splines, the portion, that little adapter plate. Um, they're not cotter pins, they're roll pins. I know I messed up the name of them, I'm sorry, but the roll pins, I like that they're there so that you don't overturn that uh, portion. Basically, that, that clutch master cylinder can't turn any further than it absolutely needs to go, so it actually locks in a nice solid position. And then when you lock in that set screw, or that locking screw, it's, it's nice and solid. Um, it's not going to go anywhere. The other thing that is a pretty good thing to mention is make sure that you get the feed line for your clutch master cylinder put on the clutch master cylinder before you put the brake booster on and also the steel braided clutch line. Make sure you put that on and at least keep it a little loose so you can basically clock it so that it sits in between the booster and your uh, shock tower. Um, I put the brake booster back in after I got the clutch master cylinder in there and I put the line and kind of clocked it and just made sure that everything would line up right and then I pulled the brake booster back out and I tightened down that bando banjo bolt so that um, it was clocked where I wanted it and knew it wasn't gonna rub on anything. And uh, then I proceeded to put the clutch, or the brake booster back in, tighten down all four of those bolts, and then put the linkage back together and went ahead and started bleeding the brakes. For bleeding the brakes, per Mitsubishi's instructions for the Evo 10, you want to start in the driver rear caliper. There's two bleed screws, bleed valves, whatever you want to call them, per caliper. You want to always start with the outside and then the in side one. So you start with the driver rear, then you go to the driver or passenger front, then you go passenger rear, and then driver front. Like the clutch master cylinder, the OEM usually goes out around 80k. I got lucky and got to 90. A lot of people were surprised I made it that long, but yeah. So after I did my brake bleeding, I went to the clutch pedal and uh, got all the air out of that with the bleed screw. Uh, a lot of people get rid of the restrictor pill so you have a more consistent clutch feel. I got rid of it a long time ago. At this point in the install, it's the perfect time to get rid of it. Uh, you're gonna have to bleed the slave cylinder anyways, so you're already there. If you want the more consistent feel in the clutch, I suggest you remove it. A lot of other people do. Um, so there's that. Um, what else did I not like about it? Other than that, like, 
it's it's a good unit i like it a little bit difficult to install just because the position you got to get in to get the little cotter the little cotter pin in on the clutch master cylinder the linkage the little ball end but um other than that i definitely recommend this unit like i said i've been driving on it for two days and haven't had any issues with it no leaks no nothing um, so yeah have fun on the install if you have any more questions leave them in the comments below i'll be sure to answer them as best as i can and throw any uh, more Im important information in the description if you like this video go ahead and like it subscribe to the channel i don't post much i try to get content that's mainly based around stuff that's not already out there on youtube um, there's a lot of other people that do evo 10 how to's and things like that um, I try to do all the things that there isn't really a really in-depth how-to on. I couldn't really find anything on the map version for this install, so I thought this one would be pretty beneficial. Let me know what you think, and if you can think of any other videos you'd like to see. Uh, more in-depth or ones that you haven't seen done before. So uh, give it a like. Give me a subscribe and uh, happy modding.